Yes, yes, yes. Today is sales and we're talking about yo flow. Are you being in flow with your sales? Yo flow. Get ready because I'm going to be talking to you about the yo flow when you're looking at sales, looking at yourself selling, making sure that you are the best at what you do in terms of closing deals, bringing in some great clients and making sure that you are in flow. I notice most when people are doing sales pitches, when people are in their flow of sales, that their language, how they speak about themselves, how they speak about what they do, how they speak with confidence and clarity and focus. Well, a lot of times it's lacking. And it's because I know when that's happening, I know they have not put themselves in a place of flow. You see, flow is this like easy glide, glide down the river, glide down, touch the sides if you need, but you're just enjoying the process. And a lot of times in sales, it sounds desperate. I have seen too many times, especially when it's times of economic uncertainty, that people sound desperate. They sound cheesy. They sound, you've got to do this now. And there is no flow. And flow is what attracts people. Flow is what magnetizes people. Flow is what what people need to feel from you. So they're confident in buying from you. So let me share what flow actually stands for. Flow stands for F of focus on your words. I know for myself, I have to step out of the game when I'm hearing certain words or phrases or how I'm speaking. I know that when that is happening, I have not focused on my words. Most importantly, I haven't focused on the words that I've been telling myself. I haven't focused on me buying me. And that is what focus on your words is all about. It's you buying you before anybody else buys you, before anybody else hears you. What are you doing to ensure that the words that you're telling yourself are the right and perfect words, the the words that say, you know, I know I've got it going on. Yo, I know I'm in flow. I know that I've got it going on. I know that I am receiving. I know that I fill my coffers with the exact amount of money that I need all the time. I know that. And when you start talking with flow, people feel you. So you have to focus on your words. Are your words uplifting? Are your words prosperous? Are your words abundant? Are your words built on satisfaction? Are your words words built on solutions? Are your words built on creation? That is important when you talk about flow of your words. You absolutely positively have to lift up your vibe by speaking words of success to you. When I take my walk, I actually put some pretty cool instrumental music on. I'm going to see if I can find it as I'm talking to you. I put some instrumental music behind me so that as I'm kind of walking, being sassy and thinking about me and getting it going on that I start 
speaking words that just, uh, you know, make me feel like, mm, girl, you got it going on. Mm. So I'll, I'll put music like this for myself. Well, not that music. Um, I'll put music like this on listen. And I'll start saying to myself, girl, you're powerful. You're strong. You're capable. You've got this. You know that you're creating worlds of opportunities. You know that you're inspiring people when they hear your words. You know that they matter. So I play this kind of music for myself, creating my own motivational message to myself when I'm walking. I use these words of, I am here. I'm showing up. I'm willing to be who I choose to be. I create myself. I design, I build, I flow. I'm exciting. I'm exciting to be around. I'm exciting to create things. I use this music of the world's most inspirational, moving, uplifting instrumentals to then use my own, my own words, my own message, my own abilities. I am allowing myself to be my own motivational speaker. I'm giving myself permission to lift myself up. I'm the one that decides where my vibes are going to be. I'm the one that's going to be building on my successes and my words. It is critically important that you do that for yourself, that you lift up your vibe by spreading words of success to yourself. It is so, so important. I have somebody saying, yes, mm -hmm, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. And that's what you want to be able to say to yourself. You want to have that clarity of lifting your, your vibe up, your successes up, your message, because that increases your flow. You want to open, use for, oh, open yourself up to the dream and the vision of what you want. Now, here's something really important when we're talking, especially from a sales perspective. Your job is to create the vision and the dream for the other person of what will they receive? What kind of lifestyle? What kind of uh, ability to communicate? What kind of message will they have to share with the world once they work with you? It is so important that you create and open yourself up to their successes, but open themselves up to the successes that you are determined that your product service, your, your insights or information is going to do for that other person. So you have to be able to create through your words an opening for them and for you of what their dreams are. If you work with me, whoop, that's be really healthy if you knew what I'm talking about. If you work with me, then you will, you'll see yourself feeling more confident. What, what will it be like for you when you feel confident talking to potential clients? What will it feel like for you when you feel excited about seeing the successes that you want to achieve? What would it feel like when you bring home that check or you receive that money that you so wanted and you went after it and you received it, what would that feel like? So you are opening yourself up to their successes and talking about their dreams, talking about their visions and helping them see what they really want to experience by working with you. And it's so critically important that you do that because if you don't, you don't understand who your people are. They don't feel it. They don't, they don't see the caring that you have. And you really, really want them to see that you care, that you're interested in their successes, that you're interested in what's where they are. Your worldview matters. This is so critically important. And if you see the, the world as from a negative state, from a place where it's really hard, you're gonna have to, it's gonna have to rough, you're gonna have to rough it out. It's gonna be really hard. Then, you know, honestly, that's what's gonna happen to you. And if you're speaking from that perspective, then you're also kind of injecting that into your, your clients, your potential clients, the people that wanna work with you. That's why it's so important that you clarify your worldview. Do you believe that people working with you will 
up their game will make a difference if they use your product will it improve their life and if so how your worldview has to show a view of i believe in more i believe in optimism i believe in success i believe in growing myself i i believe that when you invest in yourself you make yourself better i believe that that is a worldview that you really want to wrap yourself around and sometimes because of media and things that will shift your perspective and if it shifts your perspective your sales will be impacted so that means you have to make yourself that you're in yo flow you're in yo flow baby you're making sure that you're going to focus on your words you're going to make yourself sure that you're going to be lifting your vibe up, vibe up by speaking words of success to yourself you're going to open yourself to the dream the vision for both you and your client and what they'll get from working with you and you're going to make sure that your worldview matters that your worldview is positive optimistic helpful compassionate caring that you know if you work with people work with you or buy your product that the world is a better place just because your worldview is something that they want to experience in their own lives so that's what yo flow is look forward to seeing you next week when i do more on sales tips see you all very very soon my name is Pegeen, and i'm the founder of power women worldwide let's dance and play